All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I've got about two and a half hours before it gets dark. I've never been here. And to be honest with you, I'm not marking jack squat. I'm somewhere on Chickamauga Lake. The water's not that deep, about 34 foot. This is not a very deep lake at all. I don't care as long as I catch catfish. I've got a pretty good amount of current, so I'm going to suspend a couple and throw a couple out. We're going to put one on the Catfish Day bling bling rig, and we'll just throw it out the back. There's a channel edge to my right, I'll try to throw it right on that ledge. We're going to chill out right here, and we're looking for one good fish. I've caught enough dink fish to last me 25 lifetimes. That's all we can do, sit here and wait on them to chew. I haven't fished Chickamauga too many times. I fished right below the dam and done fairly well up there when the conditions are right. I fished once on the lower end, closer to Chattanooga, and it took a while to get a bite, but I finally caught quite a few dragging a creek. And here I am about halfway up the thing. Really no deep water out here anywhere not compared to these other lakes. And I'm not familiar with it enough to know where all the good structure is. I'm just looking for channel lines and stuff because it's a short trip. If I could ride around in the boat out here for hours at a time, I might find a good spot to fish. But on short notice, this is where we're at, hoping for a fat cat. It's never impossible as long as you got baits in the water catfish live in the water. Well, we ain't been here real long, and we have scored a fish on the Catfish Day Bling Bling.
sure ain't no big fish, but he's a little bigger than the average size fish in Watts Bar. They always curl the tail in towards you. Throw this one out. Let him wear himself out. There's another catfish. Still ain't nothing with no size. We got two real quick though. Ain't been here 10 minutes. Oh, we're hooked up. Oh, shoot. He's pulling drag. He's pulling quite a bit of drag. Let me get this hook out of here. So I can get my landing net. They pull drag right off the bat like that. You know you got something decent on. I might have picked a good spot. Suspended baits ain't getting touched. They're just in my way when I go to land these fish. This feels like a big fish. He's just lingering below the boat. I believe we got the one we came for. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. He's pulling drag. Pulling drag. Oh, look. 
Look out. I shouldn't even have them suspended rods in there. They ain't getting the bite. It's big fish. Come on, Mr. Blue Cat. We got one over 30 pounds. Definitely so. That fish is real close to. He's close to a 40. I'll tell you what, they're not hitting a suspended bait at all. I'm gonna get these up towards the front of the boat, out of the way. We got us a good fish, man. Oh God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! Bad boy. The reason we caught that fish, because catfish live in the water. We're gonna throw another one straight out the back. Oh shoot, I'm hooked up again. I can't even get my rods baited up. He's on there. Dang y'all. I guess I'll get him in. That's what we're here for, is to catch him.
shoot, 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 shoot. He done got in that other line. He's tangled up in that other line. I'm gonna have to get rid of those suspended rods because they're not catching fish and they're about to cause me to lose fish. Not as big as the last one. Bigger than the first two, though. Hey, that'll do. Well, there's another one, y'all. I must have picked a good spot. When the bite's hot, you know you picked a good spot. people the bite has slowed down a bit I missed one good fish that didn't have a hold of it I had what looked like a flathead just laying with it but I was too busy eating watermelon either way I, I got a late start today and while there's still a couple hours of daylight left I've never been to this spot right here so uh, I'm gonna ride up and down this river and just scan the bottom I'm just uh, using my basic navionics to guide me here and going by ledges and channel drops on it. But there's all kind of stuff on this river that if you look for it, uh, you can find some really good fishing and the navionics ain't gonna show you these things. You know, log jams, big submerged trees, rocks, there could be cars, old boats laying down there. There's even sunken barges out here laying out in the middle of this river. When a man can find something like that, he can really find some good fishing. Uh, what I'm doing here, anybody can do. And so these areas are getting pressured hard. So I'm gonna take the rest of the day and do some of that. I've got that fancy side scan there on that low rance. I'm gonna start using it this year. Either way, I got my goal for the day, which was a quality fish. And when I first got here, the bite was hot, so I must have picked a good spot. Either way, people, this is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one, signing out.